In the previous lecture, which was the first problem on multiple transformations, we followed the priority order to obtain the multiple transformed signal. But in the second problem, which you can see on your screen, we will not follow the priority order. There are three different methods by using which you can obtain the multiple transformed signal. In the method number one, we will use the shortcut and by using the shortcut, you will have your waveform, the transformed waveform in one step only. In the second method, we will perform scaling first and then shifting. And in the third method, we will perform shifting first and then scaling. So let's see how we can solve this problem. In this problem, signal XT is the input signal and the waveform you can see. And it is given to a system represented by this rectangular box. And the output of the system is yt, which is equal to x minus 2t plus 1. So the original signal was xt. And after performing the transformations using this system, the output is x minus 2t plus 1. And if you compare these two signals, you can see there are multiple transformations. I can see time shifting. I can see time scaling and I can also see time reversal this minus sign shows there is time reversal occurred because of this system and we need to perform these three operations to obtain the output signal but in examinations when you have four options given you can directly follow the shortcut method to obtain your answer so let's discuss the method number one in which we will follow the shortcut method in shortcut method, we first draw the waveform in which the y axis is of the output signal x minus 2t plus 1, x minus 2t plus 1. But the x axis, which is the time axis, we change it to minus 2t plus 1. Whatever is there inside this bracket, we change the x axis to it. So minus 2t plus 1 is the x-axis and if I consider minus 2t plus 1 as alpha let's say it is alpha then this axis here will be alpha so x of alpha is the y-axis and alpha is the x-axis which is similar to x of t and t so the waveform of this signal will be similar to the waveform of the input signal so we can have the waveform same as the input signal like this at 0 the amplitude is 1 this is minus 3 this is 6 and this is origin so this is how we complete the first step in the shortcut method now in the next step we will try to have t in the x-axis because the output signal is y t and the independent variable is time t not minus 2t plus 1 so we need t in the x-axis so we need to change minus 2t plus 1 to t and how we can do it we can simply subtract minus 1 from minus 2t plus 1 and this will give us minus 2t and then we will divide minus 2t by 2 to have minus t and again we will multiply minus t by minus 1 or you can say by performing the time reversal we will have t so these are all the steps we need to do to obtain t in the x-axis so let's do them one by one I will write down all the steps this is step number one this is step number two and this is step number three so in step number one we are subtracting one so let's subtract one from minus three one from six and we also need to subtract one from zero because if you remember the important point and shortcut method lecture on multiple transformations we did not perform the operations at zero because the amplitude was constant there we had the rectangular waveform and the amplitude was constant but here there is change in the amplitude at zero that's why we are required to perform the transformations at zero also so this is one important point in this shortcut and because of which we will subtract one from zero and this will give us this will give us minus four minus one and five this is after completing the first step now in the second step we are dividing the x-axis by two so let's divide the x-axis by two i will divide minus four by two 
minus 1 by 2 and 5 by 2 this will give me minus 2 minus 0 0.5 and 2.5 we are done with step number 2 let's move to the final step in which we will perform the time reversal we will multiply the x-axis by minus 1 so when you multiply minus 1 and minus 2 you will get 2 minus 0 0.5 multiplied with minus 1 is 0 0.5 and 2.5 will become minus 2.5 in this way we have converted the x-axis from minus 2t plus 1 to t and now we can easily plot the output waveform so let's do it quickly y t which is x minus 2t plus 1 and this axis is time axis at t equal to 2 at t equal to 2 the signal is equal to 0 at t equal to 0 0.5 the signal is 1 let's say this is 0 0.5 the signal is equal to 1 and at t equal to minus 2.5 the signal is again equal to 0 this is minus 2.5 the signal is 0 now we will join these three points to get the final waveform so this is the answer of this problem and this amplitude here is equal to 1 so you can see it is very easy to obtain the final waveform using the shortcut method all these calculations I have done to explain you the process once you practice few more questions using this shortcut method you can directly write down the answers now let's move to method number two method number two in which we will perform scaling first and then we will perform the shifting the original signal is xt and we will perform time scaling and after performing time scaling the new signal is x 2t and we know what we need to do in case of time scaling as the multiplied number is 2 which is greater than 1 there is compression of the signal and we have obtained minus 1.5 and 3 by dividing minus 3 by 2 and 6 by 2 in the next step we will perform the time shifting or you can perform the time reversal first even if you can perform the time reversal after performing the time shifting it is up to you time reversal is not that complicated to perform we only have to take the mirror image about the y-axis so let's do it quickly we will obtain the mirror image about the y-axis so this is how the signal will look once you perform the time reversal and now we will perform the final operation which is time shifting so we have x minus 2t and we want x minus 2t plus 1 now this is an important step as I told you whenever you perform any operation you have to look at the x-axis x minus 2t plus 1 and the x-axis is t but here the shifting which is by 1 is performed against minus 2t but the x-axis here is t so we cannot perform the shifting by 1 against minus 2t so we need to separate the time t so that we can perform the shifting let's do it from here we can have x I will take minus to common this will give me t minus 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 and in that way we have separated the t and now you can see we are performing the shifting by 0 0.5 and the shift will be right because there is minus sign against time t so let's do it quickly we will shift this waveform by 0 0.5 towards the right so when you shift minus 3 by 0 0.5 towards the right you will have minus 2.5 when you shift 0 towards the right by 0 0.5 you will have 0 0.5 and 1.5 will become 2 at minus 2.5 signal is 0 at 2 signal is 0 but at 0 0.5 signal is 1 join these three points and you will get the final waveform and if you compare these two waveforms you will find they are same so by using the method number two you can get the answer as well now let us discuss the final method the third method 
in which we will perform the time shifting first signal is xt and we will perform the time shifting first and this will give us xt plus 1 now here if you see the output signal which is x minus 2t plus 1 the shifting is by 1 and if you are performing the shifting first then you have to perform it against time t so we will perform the shifting against time t x t plus 1 t in this case the signal was x minus 2 t before performing the time shifting and in this case the signal is x t before performing the time shifting so there is no need to separate the time t in this case because it is already separated and we are performing the shifting against t but here in this case the time was multiplied by minus 2 that's why it was important to separate the time t before performing the shifting to get the correct waveform so we don't have to worry about any separation in this case we will directly shift the signal towards the left by 1 and to do this we need to see the original signal this is the original signal and we will shift it towards the left by 1 this is what you will get once you shift the signal towards the left by 1 so we are done with the first step in method number 3 and now we will perform the time scaling we will perform the time scaling of xt plus 1 time scaling and the obtained signal is x2t plus 1 the compression of the signal will take place we will divide minus 4 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and 5 by 2 and in that way we will have the waveform which will look like this now we will perform the time reversal x2t plus 1 after performing the time reversal we will have x minus 2t plus 1 we will take the mirror image about the y-axis so this is the waveform of signal yt and if you compare this waveform with the two waveforms we have obtained here and here it will be same so in all the three methods we have obtained the same answer and i hope this process is clear to you if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one